If you're wondering how to start your lock journey with short, natural hair, then I have you covered. You just stay tuned. I will be showing you seven different ways you can start your lock journey with short, natural hair. And by the way, I did a poll about a month ago asking how do you prefer to start your locks. There were a total of 84 votes and later on in this video, I will be letting you know the results. Okay, let's jump right into this video. The first way to start your locks is the coven method, which is the comb cool method. And I will be explaining what that is. It's when you take the edge of the comb to the root of a section of hair, then twist the comb while pulling downwards, creating a coil. These coils look nice and smooth. You are able to section your parts off to any size you would like, from larger parts to smaller parts or medium parts. Okay, now these will unravel easily when washing your hair, but it's still a great method for starting locks. They're great for even shorter hair. So if you have super short hair, this is the way to go. Like if your hair may be like an inch to two inches long, you might want to try this method first because this is the more secure method for you, I feel like. But you might want to try um, one of the other methods that I will be talking about later on in this video. So the second method, it kind of um, stems off the first one. But instead of comb coils, it's finger coils. Okay, and this is where you use your fingers to make the coil. Finger coils is easy to do yourself. Yes, I said it. You can do it yourself. So if you like the comb coil look and it's hard to use the comb to create this look, then just try the finger coil method. The third method will be the two strand twist. This has become a very, very popular way of starting your lock journey this method is when you wrap one piece of hair around the other creating a two strand twist some people call it a double strand twist but that's what it is um i like this method because you can use different types of parting as well like box parting or the triangle part it's all up to you what type of parting that you would like to start these off with this method is great if you have shorter hair as well I would suggest maybe at least two to three inches, four inches plus um, length of hair would be great to start off with. Some people even comb coil the roots first and then two strand twist the hair. So if that's something that you you know want to consider, you definitely can do that as well. Which leads me to the fourth method, which includes two strand twist with interlocking. I guess you say, what is that? Well. It's the same method as the two strand twist where you grab it one strand of the hair and the other strand of the hair and you just twist it in the hair and then after you create the two strand twist then using a crochet needle to interlock the base. Great method because the interlocking will cause your locks to lock quicker and it also gives you a style where your hair begins to grow out so that really is a very good look to have as well and it's a very secure look whenever you start in your lock journey the fifth method will be the box braid it's another way it's another way that you can create like section off your hair creating different parts like the triangle part and i was telling you about and the box braiding of course that's the most common parting that you use with these box braids but it's up to you it's simple to do if you know you want to get this done or somebody you know knows how to braid or plait the hair then you definitely can start off your locks like this it all depends on what type of look you are going for and what type of style you want to rock while letting your hair grow out the sixth method is the hair sponge you just get the hair sponge and you get it and you should sponge your hair to develop locks uh, once you get the sponge and you got shorter hair you just want to grab grab it and create circular motions and you want to do it for about i would say probably about 10 minutes uh maybe twice a day every day and after a couple of weeks you'll see your locks to start forming naturally after that, you will be able to start your retwisting process. 
And the seventh method is the free form. This is the most easiest, easiest, easiest method. But a lot of people don't like free forms. And a lot of people do like free forms. It is all depend on the type of look you want. These free form is no parting is showing or anything like this. You just leave your hair alone. No manipulation or styling. And let it mat together and lock on its own. You literally do nothing to achieve this style. It won't have, like I say, parts or anything. It's super easy. So if that's something you want to go for, having short hair, and you just want to go for that look, which looks great and easy to maintain as well. So that's also a great method. So those are the seven ways of how to start your lock journey with short hair. But like I told you in the poll earlier that I took, about how do you prefer your um, starter lock journey to begin and here go the results and they are six percent said that they would rather use a sponge a hair sponge eight percent said box braids 23 percent said um comb or finger coils 63 percent chose da -da -da -da, two strand twist so two strand twist is the winner right here so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and remember that any way you choose, it takes time. And just be patient, and you will start seeing your locks forming and start to grow. Have a great blessed day.